Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, your girl, with the crazy makeup. Um, I'm by the pool, feeling zen. We're gonna take this pool from green to clean. And that's what I'm here to show you guys. Right now we've been doing some troubleshooting, um, especially when it comes to the air filters. Shout out and put a comment down below if you guys have any fun tips that you would like to share with me on pool setups and getting goings. But as you can see, covers off. We've taken the winter out, winterization process where we've taken all of the knobs off of the um, air filters or I guess the air circulators. I don't know the correct terminology. So we've done that already. Um, I was just trying to play with the skim vac and um, this here that was left when we got the house. Um, and I'm thinking we're gonna need a new hose as one of the adapter parts has a crack in it. Um, and part of the music and neighbors. Um, now, what we've done already in here is we have done a few days worth of putting the robo back, which I'm gonna do and show you guys in a moment. Um, to do a couple cycles about three hour cycles at a time. We've shocked it with a couple of chlorination shocks About four bags within the span of two different days. So we've got the cover off Definitely would recommend cleaning it and putting it up nicer because you could get mice in there as we found out before we went to winterize it um, So I've just been coming out here kind of cleaning the tap because that's the easiest most effective thing to do to help get those debris from collecting on the bottom we have a pool that goes from shallow to a deeper end i believe it's probably about nine feet deep and on this side is about four feet maybe five um so very shallow near these steps here you could be about waist deep if you're on the taller spectrum um even myself i think is about waist deep for me and then we have usually buoy lines that will connect to deeper ends of the pool and it's got like a little dip down which you can't see but I'll show you once we clear it up. So this is what I'm working with. It's slowly making some progress. It's a little cloudy. We see some blue areas around the sides. Well that is because we've been coming out here and scraping. Kind of clearing and scraping with the um, pool cider type of deal so now I've just been testing the water to see what the next steps are getting a good vacuum in on that side and I'm gonna go ahead and throw the Nautilus dolphin in there right now and I'll show you guys what that's all about hold on It's like the friend that helps. And we're gonna turn this bad boy on. Power, three hour cycle. I think that's three hours, yeah. And so it does its thing, does its work. So this is kind of my zen moment. Now, the other day, which I'll show you guys. So once it gets the air out, you'll see some bubblage happening. Just like you see those top bubbles there as it kind of re kind of surfaces itself and so one of the most positive things that i like to do pff, have hair in my mouth <laughs> is um you know come out and zen there's a lot of spiritual energy as water is a conductor of energy but not only that spirit is energy whatever form you resonate with that in so i get a lot of downloads when i'm out here and the other day I went to go live, so that live did not work. I wanted to show you guys some things that I was getting done out here to kind of take you along the steps and the process and the journey, but also to be a reminder and a note to myself before I get into other metaphysical things, um, which is 
you know, troubleshooting this whole pool ordeal. This is the first time that we've had a in-ground pool, let alone like a high-functioning pool with filters and things like that. So it's been quite an adventure, but we're really down for figuring it out. We're very good at brainstorming, and we've got a great team of family that, um, you know, knows what they're doing, but not only that, uh, you know, is willing to learn and try, and thank goodness for YouTube, right? So this is kind of where I'm going to leave it. I'll take you guys inside, and we'll see if we can get into some other things so I don't get demonetized by the background music that's happening um, next door. So follow me, and we'll go through these gates. <laughs> It's really warm out there. So now that I'm inside, sweating my butt off, I actually had a field day for my daughter, and boy, I was wearing sunscreen, but looks like the sun got me anyhow, huh? Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyways, um, you know, had my kiddos field day, so we've been doing that kind of stuff all day. Sorry, the flowers look really pretty. Um, <laughs> so we've been getting into that. Um, I did just fine, and this is going to be helpful once we clean it a lot more, I think, but these guys, which you see on YouTube a lot, I went to Ocean State, these were unfortunately $6.99 there, and I'm sure they're cheaper actually elsewhere, but they absorb the oil, they look kind of fun, and um, this is going to be really helpful because it stops the waterline dirt scum and prolongs the filter life, so I might throw one of these in um, just to see. Whew, so sorry about that. So since i feel like my son my shirt's getting sun faded or something oh my gosh um i don't recall what i was talking about and i might have to cut it short because i think i might get interrupted again in, in a nice way um i'm gonna get into the reiki oracle because i've been very drawn to using this deck i just got it i haven't really gotten acclimated to it but i feel like there's a really um great collective message that uh, may want to be coming through so let's go ahead and we'll dive right into it pool and oracle so this is the reiki oracle deck and that's something i'm diving into a little bit more as well but this is what it looks like and so we're gonna do a little oracle pull for the collective energy and get to know this deck a little bit too um you guys can get to see the vibes of it Let's see what comes up. Let's see. I feel like there's sounds all around. What do we need to know? And as I was saying, um, oh, there's one. I'll take it. Um, you know, very connected to the pool with the water and... Um, how that's the conductor of spirit for me. There's a lot of downloads and it feels like there's something that wants to just kind of awaken and let us know what's up. Oh, okay. So changing consciousness is the card that had first fallen out. We cannot count these many because <laughs> it's too much. I, I'm not going to do a, few, a bunch of cards because I'm, I'm not sure how the readings of the booklet go. We're going to do a real quick one. I want to see if there's anything else that Spirit thinks that we need to add to this moment. But I think we might have already gotten the one and only card. Okay. So since two cards flipped out, I feel like this definitely kept coming up. It came up in reverse. I don't know if they have a reverse, but we'll keep that in mind. And it's Ken Kuo. Ken Kuo? Health. And here's that first one. Changing Consciousness. I don't know how to pronounce these, unfortunately, but check this out um, as I get learning. And worry not. So this is very, very interesting, okay? Um, first off, gotta say, a lot of things that resonate. June and the Feng Shui forecast, according to Holistic Spaces, a uh, podcast that I listened to, they have mentioned that June's I Ching reading that was done, um, which is another form of divination, clear similarly to um you know the oracle decks and things like that i ching is like coins and tossing coins to get the divination well danger came up number 29 it represents danger because it's the water water used to be very fearful if you want to hear more about that you guys can check out the holistic spaces podcast um so shout out to them for that information but it was very fitting and resonated now with this is a change of consciousness. This interlocks and intertwines with the podcast. That's why I bring it up. Not only is this 
similar to feng shui but it just really spoke volumes and change in consciousness there's a lot going on here a change of heart is what i'm getting as well with the green tones that are happening um, a very nurturing loving presence of this woman here she's very nurtured and comforted in her garb that she's got going on there and she's kind of nurturing her mind she's learning new things it looks like she's diving into some new possibilities and we're going to see what this means in just a moment now with health what's interesting is my mother just broke her arm so i guess i will bring that up happy news though there's no surgery needed so that was the lovely update and with this health card uh, what's really interesting is that even with my own health, as I can put a personal thing in, I've recently kind of stabilized a few things that were going on and figuring things out. And ever since getting my iron infusions in my case, I feel more aligned. My chakras feel more aligned. Now, what's really interesting is that I'm seeing a lot of colors that are sticking out per se in here. Um, it looks like a very chakra system. Um, the root chakra is glowing very much in this solar and all of that. So this is a very heavy solar plexus to root chakra energy. No, excuse me. S root chakra into sacral energy and then the solar plexus. So they're kind of intermingled where you might have more solar energy. You might have more motivation and drive willpower, if you will. Also, don't forget to tap into that third eye as the third eye is glowing. Um, as well very predominantly and there's some love as well now I don't know if that was the intention with this but um, it does feel like full alignment of health getting more into aligning with your personal health whether it's mental physical um, or spiritual health these three things combined is something that's kind of jumping up so you're going to have that change of consciousness you're going to start diving deeper in nurturing figuring out new ways Throwing out finally the things that are no longer serving you. That keeps coming up. Um, but the health is going to turn you around. And of course there's been a lot of worry for myself. My kids have also been going through some things as well. But luckily it's nothing we can't overcome, right? So what's really lovely is this, this card is representing worry not. And this is giving a lot of crown chakra energy. Because there's some whites. There's this blue tonage which is like kind of feeling like the throat chakra is closed you're not really expressing yourself you're not really expressing what you're worried about you're not really like putting it out there to resolve it so that's what i'm picking up on the card is like don't worry speak your truth speak what you're really feeling inside because you there's no need to worry there's a solution for anything that's arising in your mind um, with the brown tones and the worried eyes it's just really conveying a sense of worry a sense of not speaking up, closing off that mouth chakra, closing off that throat chakra, all this whole area is kind of hidden. So a lot of mind power here, a lot of reminders to be more grounded in the mind. This looks red, but it is brown. So crown chakra, worry not, and worrying is mental, you know. So there's no need to worry. Revival of health is on its way or getting more in tune with your health is very important at this time, especially since June is going to be a very action packed month. It feels like um, it seems like in a lot of people of this world and also just having that change of consciousness and that change of heart energy, the heart chakra is what's really going to um, make a turn here. It feels like what's really going to give you a little bit of peace of mind and just reevaluating these things so that you can live to your fullest potential and live your best life, as they say. So what we're going to start with, because I'm doing this left to right. Uh, no, excuse me. Right to left. <laughs> um, oh, let's see. Okay. So there's a few different charts in here, and I'm just going to go with the flow here, because I don't think... Okay, so let's see officially what these cards have to say. There's higher... Oh, change of consciousness. Okay. So going back to the change of consciousness. This represents a need of change in consciousness, okay? The higher consciousness suggests viewing life from your soul's perspective of unconditional love, understanding for self and others, compassion, acceptance, and striving to be proactive instead of reactive in all situations. Are you viewing your life through old filters? 
that just hit and I am very connected to this deck already because boy that's pretty much what I just said and that's why I wanted to tell you my intuitive first before I got into the actual card meanings. Um, now there's a specific spread, the Life Force Energy spread that has different um, you know, representations of what this could also mean. On the right, because we started right to left, it says that the Inquirer is already working on changing his consciousness for the better. So I feel this with myself. I'm reading the cards. This is also kind of a message for me as well. But for the collective, it seems like if you guys are here right now, you're already thinking about the right things to do for the better. Um, touching the Reiki card indicates that the Inquirer's perspective is generally from the higher consciousness. Touching any other card may indicate to add a spiritual or consciousness perspective to the card touched. And this is also page 77 on here as well if you're into angel numbers. Now with health, let's check that out. Health. The health card, Keen Ku, Ken Kuo, Ken Kuo, sorry, I am so sorry if I'm butchering this, I, I'm going to learn these um, much better as I work with this deck, represents the Inquirer's health. It is the state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or medical condition. Health is being able to feel good and having a life of mobility, enjoyment, social relationships, optimistic expectations, and optimal individualized fitness so that one lives a full creative life. Our mental health is just as important. Keep your thoughts and po keep your thoughts positive and learn to discipline your mind. Keep your body in good health by sending it love and gratitude every day. Remember, it is the temple in which your soul resides in this lifetime. And to also connect with something I also realized, um, intuitive message in itself, funny enough from TikTok, was diving into more than just the I am's of the chakra because I am is related to the root chakra, which is fabulous. But you don't want to forget to remember the other chakras and to, you know, resonate with this specifically, which is the I feels, the I do, the I am, we already mentioned that, the I will. So, you know, mentioning positive mantras to yourself, affirmations is going to be a big, big thing here. Um, whether you're working on that already, good for you. Please keep going because that is a beautiful thing. Um, I know I have personally been taking my health way more seriously and diving back in now that I've got more energy um, into the, you know, physical working out mode and things like that. Um, now, this says if it's, it's in the middle... Um, and it doesn't really mention, so because this is in the mention, we're just going to say that this is not right or left because it's in the middle. So <laughs> touching the Reiki card means the inquirer knows that all healing comes from loving oneself unconditionally. So love yourself unconditionally, keep nurturing yourself and going with that higher perspective. These cards go together so beautifully. And it really makes a sense of what's coming on. Now, let's check out the worry not, which we're going to count as being on the left side. Oh. Sorry, I'm very uh, tired because I had a long morning. Worry not. So we kind of discussed my intuitive perspective of this. The Shinpai Sauna card represents the act of worrying. Worrying doesn't provide any benefit to any given situation. It doesn't help get rid of problems. It only causes stress and tension in the body and mind. If you worry about someone else, the blueprint goes out and the blueprint comes back. Worry is a waste of time and effort. Pick up a 10 minute window per day for 10 minutes, allow yourself to worry. When the time is over, do not worry. Only you can control your worries and thoughts. See your life as smooth, peaceful, and serene. Touching the, so because this is to the left, excuse me, um, the inquirer has demonstrated worrying less. And let me tell you, I, just to put a dream significance, I had a dream about being on a roller coaster. It was going upside down and I was not really buckled in. But in my dream, because roller coasters can tend to represent our um, emotions, it felt very like being in control of the motions. There's a lot of ebbs and flows in life, just kind of rolling with the punches, pivoting, things like that. It's a very much a time for the 
um, pivoting. Now, because the health card is also with the worry knot and is mentioned touching the health card, may indicate that the inquirer is healing the worrisome issues that needs to heal those issues. So very beautiful. Um, it could mean that your health or someone else's health has been really getting to you. And I think we all have been going through this. Um, so there's no need to worry because the health is going to be taken care of. You're going to be taken care of. You just have to listen to your body, thank it, give gratitude and love, and also express to others your gratitude and love as well, as that's going to keep the good she going, the good energy, those good vibes and love. It is what we need more of. You cannot get enough, in my opinion. So really appreciate these cards um, together. And it says that... If you touch any other cards, because there's a certain particular spread I'm seeing from this deck where you lay all the cards out upright, it looks like, and somebody intuitively goes to certain cards. So that's going to be interesting. I'll do that another time. But these cards, it's like, don't worry. Your health is being controlled. People are going to be okay. Um, dive into your heart chakra. You know, send out that love, love from the heart, more compassion, more just overall mindfulness. So that mindfulness also remind yourself that it is okay to not be okay, that it is okay to worry and allow just that specific time to unwind. And don't forget to nurture and love yourself. And also don't forget about that mental, spiritual, and physical health. Um, it's going to be just absolutely harmonious. And I appreciate you all for sticking around this long for my vlog update on how the pool thing's going, as well as just diving into this um, oracle moment with me because I felt a very strong calling and this deck and I have already hit it off extremely well so I really appreciate that and I appreciate all of your time sending love and light and um, I will update you guys in the next video I appreciate you being here I'm very sad that uh, my lives are working but I don't have the right connections it seems like to keep it flowing unfortunately so um, as I figure that out, bear with me because I really love doing the lives. It's a little easier than trying to, you know, upload and then download videos, but there's always a reason, right? Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm going to get back into probably the pool stuff, uh, getting ready for work and wishing you all the best. Much love. Thanks for checking me out. Have a wonderful, most magical day.